journey we had descended in traveling 90 miles. I've really discovered over the last several years that I prefer to sing my recitals in English when I'm singing for an American audience. And the reason is that I have completely gotten over seeing the tops of people's heads because they're so busy reading the program and following the poetry and the translations that they don't actually hear the recital. They don't take part in the recital. I'm saying that in a way that comes from the understanding of being an audience member that has done that many, many times. We're just sitting and, I, and I'm reading along in the, in the program and all of a sudden we get to the end of the song and I'm thinking, oh, I was, I was just keeping time to the end of the song. So I was just counting lines. So there's five to the end, there's 40. I wasn't actually hearing the piece. So several years ago, I was doing a piece called Covered Wagon Woman, which was written for me and commissioned from Alan Lewis Smith. And it was a wonderful piece chronicling this amazing woman, Margaret Franks, traveling across the country with her husband and several other people in a covered wagon. And the texts come from her journals. And shortly before we did this, the presenters were asking me for the texts. And I said, you know what? I'll give you the texts, I'd like you to print them, but I'd like you to do it as an insert and provide them for the audience after the concert so that if they're interested in the texts, they can take them home and read them again. But I am singing this piece for the very first time here in New York for this audience and I want to experience this with the audience. I want it to be an active experience where we're going on this journey together. And I would love to have the information that they give me by their faces. Because audiences do not recognize, in large part, what a contribution they make to whatever they're seeing. Whether they are happy about something or sad about something or reflective about something. It shows in their faces. It informs the performer. And it changes the way we sing. It changes the way we communicate. And I want to encourage that by singing in languages that the audience has an automatic connection. So that I'm taking down as many, many lenses in between me and the audience as I possibly can.